She's pretty. Hey guys, Mike Glover here, Black Ruffle Coffee, pro tips. We're talking about my new home defense gun. Um, man, your home defense setup is not going to be exactly how your everyday carry setup is going to be. A lot of people prefer compact, subcompact, and then full size for likely their home defense. So let me walk you through this gun and this setup and the reasons why. I become a fan of SIG and that's taken me years. One of the main reasons I like SIG is because a lot of my buddies work for SIG, but those buddies come from a line of special operations as well as professional shooters, and they're the best in the world. So SIG years ago is not the same SIG today. It's a very different company. If you go to Newington, New Hampshire, where they're located, you'll see Americans milling guns by hand, finishing guns by hand, and they're truly made in America. I mean, this magazine even says made in the USA. You don't see that often. Um, so yeah, I'm a fan of SIG. One of my issues with home defense guns of the past is I use Glocks. Uh, an inherent issue with my hand size on a Glock is the locking, in this case it's ambidextrous, I can show you on either side, the locking of the slide catch or slide release, depending on the nomenclature school you're coming from. So if my support hand's on here on this side and I pin it, which I do often on a Glock, then it's not reliable and repeatable. The things that I look for in a self-defense bulletproof pistol. So I started shooting SIGs and they started getting better. I had a P220 double action, single action SIG full size that I used to compete in IDPA with, except I would always get my butt kicked with that pistol. Now, these striker fired pistols are changing the game. This particular pistol is the 320X Carry Legion. Their Legion series have stainless steel in the frame, the slide, and they have carbon steel in the barrels. They're flat triggers, striker fired, and not only are they, um, man, aesthetically pleasing, but they're the best shooting guns, the best shooting pistols I've ever shot. Um, so now I look at this pistol and go, man, this is perfect for self-defense. Would I use a can? I don't know. My thing is like, why not use a can? This is their 3D printed, printed can known as the Mod X9, which has different 3D printed baffles where you could reduce the amount of baffles to save space. I mean, it gets louder, but you could chop this down in segments where this is like one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and you could have this setup. Now, why would you ever use a suppressor in home defense? I could think of many reasons why you would do that. One, your position and giving away your position with a normal uh, barrel where the bullet and the gas exhaust and it gives away your position. In this situation with shooting subsonic, you're gonna have a signature, but it's not going to be as loud and as big visually. So you might have this particular setup for home defense. This setup also has uh, a front night sight that is risen for suppressors, also for red dots. I chose to put a Leupold Delta Point Pro. Um, I love this flat dark earth. And it has a night sight capability as well. This has an infrared dot that I could see only with NVGs. Now, some would ask, well, Mike, normal, normal people don't get suppressed guns with infrared capability and run night vision in self-defense. We well, better level up, level up your game. I'm thinking about the rural circumstance. If I go out into my yard, because I heard something out on my land, you use white lights, it's gonna give away your position. I just hit up Surefire, because I wanna know what's the best Surefire setup with an infrared capability that maybe emits a flood and a light. 
an infrared light, a beam of light, a laser, but it's not visible with the naked eye because I have night vision. When I go camping or overlanding, I typically have night vision. Not necessarily war fighting. I don't do that anymore. Um, but it's for looking at the stars, but also force protection. Uh, now, a lot of people think that talk is crazy. Well, it's not crazy to me when I'm talking about protecting my family. I want the best pistol made for self-protection and home defense. 17 round magazine, and I would use full metal jacket. Now, the circumstances may vary, but in my circumstance, I know the layout of my house. I have the tactical advantage. If you're shooting at a bad guy, typically bad guys don't stand in the open like paper targets, holding up, squared off, um, holding the gun up in position, ready to fight. If you start shooting at them or they identify you, they're gonna get behind cover um, and, and maximize their concealment. Full metal jacket can go through specific obstacles where hollow points won't. Now there is several synth synthetic bonded ammunition that you could use that is very good with both, both defending yourself against people and penetrating obstacles. Um, but I choose full metal jacket for home defense. Well, what about if you hit someone that goes through them? What's my home? I know the angles. Like I'm not going to set myself up for that and the difference in angling could mean the difference of a couple inches left or right. That's what he said. So, my new home defense gun is this setup. Um, I have this can on here because I like guns for utility and their intended purpose. Um, I'm not de-threading this and putting it in my uh, appendix carry holster. Um, I'm setting this up in a position where it is my go-to weapon system for self-defense. I don't like the idea of just taking one pistol and integrating it in every facet of capability. I like the idea of getting one intended tool for the intended purpose, optimizing it for that intended purpose, and then using it that way. Sure, I could de-thread this and it's not difficult to do. Um, put it in a, a concealed carry holster and then carry it, but I choose to use this for specifically home defense. I like the red dot. Um, I, I need to run an integrated light, which I will add to this. It's not completely done, but I wanted to show you this for pro tips um, because I'm excited about it. I mean, look at this thing. Uh, is that when we roll the B-roll? Like roll that B-roll. Um, guys, my home defense gun, as I will uh, evolve all of my tactics, techniques, and procedures, I'm not married to any one specific idea. And just like your training protocols evolve, and just like the enemy evolves constantly, so do we. We need to constantly evolve ourselves, and that means our equipment. I don't know, next week I might be telling you, hey man, I, I figured out a better way to set this up, and that's okay. Don't be married to one idea when it comes to self-protection. There's many different ways to skin this cat. Till next time, stay alert, stay alive.